Hello, my friends. Welcome back. And if you're new here, thanks for stopping by. I'm Jim. This video is going to be about a new bundle that's out, a combination of Luminar Neo from Skylum Software and XR Photo. Now, these two products complement each other really well, work well together, and each of them really excels at what they do. Luminar Neo is a fantastic photo editor, gives you massive amounts of power and control over things like light, color, detail, all the things that you tend to want to adjust in a photo. XR Photo is an AI-based product, and it basically analyzes the contents of each photo and automatically applies keywords to them. So it's great as kind of a photo manager, asset manager, and it's an amazing search tool. So what I want to do in this video is talk about this bundle that's being offered. It is a combination. As I said, you get both products for $119. And in fact, I've got a link down below to a landing page, but this is what it looks like. If you take a look here, and I won't bore you with uh, reading this, but it just talks about the two different apps. But I'm going to walk through and show you what these two apps do. But more importantly, I want to show you how you can use them together because I've been using both of them for quite a while now. And as I said, they complement each other really well. So I want to walk through how I'm doing that. Now, if you're not familiar with Luminar Neo, here's the basic interface, and it gives you all these tools over here on the right-hand side that you can scroll through and apply to your photo. So this is a raw file, and let's say I wanna go in and basically maybe do some things like just the contrast, put on the highlights, maybe pull up the shadows a little bit just to balance the light overall. Maybe then I wanna go into color, and maybe I wanna cool it off just a little bit, maybe a slight bump in tint, perhaps a little bit of saturation and vibration vibrance just to kind of bring it to life you know so if you look at the before and after there it is before and there it is now you know minor impact but pretty quick overall but that's uh, not all I want to do to the photo maybe I want to go into landscape and get some golden hour to give some of that warm pop to that sunrise that I captured and maybe also I'll go into structure AI and just apply that negatively across the entire photo which kind of softens up the image overall now this is just an example of what you can do and how quickly you can have an impact on your images with Luminar Neo. But if you look at the before image, a little bit flatter, a little bit less saturated, and now a little bit more vibrant and colorful, right? So that's a quick, simple demo of something that you can do in Luminar Neo. But what I wanna do here is talk about XR Photo because if you've been to my channel before, you may know that I talk about Luminar Neo quite a bit, and maybe you've seen the videos, but I, although I've done a few videos on XR, I wanted to talk about this product and what it does, and then show you how I use them together. So here's the basic interface for XR. As I said, it uses AI to analyze the contents of the photo and assign keywords automatically. So recently I took a road trip from Austin, Texas, where I live, up to Portland, Oregon. And on the way, we stopped here in Colorado for a couple of photos, but the rest of these photos are from being in Oregon for, you know, let's say about 10 days. On the left-hand side, you can add folders. And what I've got connected here is an 18 terabyte external drive where I keep my entire photo library. So I have added all of those to XR and you do need to add folders. You can click on this add and then it'll come up and you can browse typical sort of situation here. But I've already added these photos from this folder. And if you look in this upper center section, it says there's 699 for simplicity. I'm gonna call it 700 photos. These 700 photos, it took about five minutes to ingest those 700 photos and apply keywords to them. So if you look at my entire library, all photos, I've got 285,000 plus photos in XR already. So my point there is as you add folders, keep in mind it takes a few minutes for each folder, depending of course on how many images you have. So it might take a little while to get 285,000 photos added. But once you do, you've got the ability to go search and do some really powerful things. And like I said, you can use this comfortably and easily with Luminar Neo. So let's take a look at that. I wanna give you just an example of some of the keywords that have been added to this. And I have really done nothing except to a few photos here, but let me show you an example. Let me find, there's one photo where it really pulled out a lot. Here it is. Now this is a section of Portland that just has a lot of graffiti. I like to shoot that. I, I shoot a lot of cities. Graffiti is just interesting to me. As I click on it, you can see on this right-hand side, all of these things in blue are added automatically. So I didn't add a single one of these keywords. And it says adult and architecture and art. It even says beard, eyes open, face, 
all kinds of things. And if I double click in the image, you can see it's pretty much nailed it. The only one that really isn't applicable is glasses. But again, it's automatically looking at graffiti that's painted on the side of a building and making assumptions about it. In fact, it even says graffiti, one face, person, portrait, and it says wall. It's really picked up so many different things that it's frankly a bit amazing to me. So that comes in really handy. And you can look at some of these other ones. Here's a sunset as I was walking back down the street, back to my car. I was in a terrible position to capture a beautiful sunset, but I took some shots of the sky anyway. And you can see it says architecture and building and city, but it also says nature, silhouette and sky which is all, of course, very applicable. Now, there's a lot of things that you can do in XR, and across the top, you can see that you have star ratings that you can apply to your photos, either individually or in bulk, also color labels if you want to, and also there's a flag for accept or reject. You can sort and search up here, but there's some really powerful options as well in this upper right-hand corner. There's an automatic duplicate finder that can go through either an individual folder or your entire library and find duplicates. So in case you want to remove duplicates in order to save storage space, you can do that. Here's find by keyword. So let's say I want to go in here and you can see on this left hand side, everything that's in gray that says custom. These are keywords that I've added to some of my photos or folders. I have not had time to go to go through all 285,000 photos, but everything on this left hand side are keywords that I've added on the other two sections here. You've got photography and content. So photography is picking up things like whether it's light or dark or it's a silhouette, things like that. Whereas content is actually picking out the items that are in the actual photo. So now I did go through this folder and add a few keywords specifically for E. Cola State Park, which is outside of Cannon Beach that we visited. So let's say that I want to do that. I've clicked it. It says 37 photos match the criteria. By the way, in this bottom section, you can search the whole database or the current view. The current view is the folder that I'm in. I'm going to do that. I'm going to click start search and boom, it's automatically sorted and found the 37 photos that were taken at E. Cola State Park simply because I tagged those accordingly. Now, the other thing to be aware of is it saves your searches over here on this results tab. We've been on the folders tab where all my folders are shown on my external hard drive, but also the results tab shows you the results of all the different searches. So you can always go back and find those searches you've done in the past if you wanted to. Now I'm in a different folder. This is a demo files folder that I keep on my desktop for making a lot of YouTube videos and things like that. But I want to show you a couple of other things that are really useful in XR. The first one is find faces. So let's say you're looking for a particular type of photo. You can click on find faces and this menu comes up that gives you all these options like single portrait or double faces or multiples, whether it's a teenager or an adult. So I'm going to go with a single portrait and a teenager. Here you've got a tick box for male or female. You can either turn that on or off. I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to leave it over on the right, which is female. And then you've got a tick box for smiling or not smiling. I'm going to uncheck that. So in other words, I don't care about that criteria. You've got some other things you can choose here on the bottom, including the maximum number of displayed search results. And I'm going to choose current view and I'm going to start search. And you can see in this particular folder, I've got all of these. Some of these are portraits I've taken, but many of them are portraits that other folks have taken. The bottom line is XR is able to quickly go find faces that match the criteria that I gave it. But now that I've done that, let's say I find this person happens to be my daughter and I want to use this next thing called find people. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to pull up this other menu. It's going to look at her face and again, more filter options and that sort of thing. But I'm going to look in the current view and I'm going to start search. And what it's going to do is actually pull up every photo that it recognizes as her. And it's done an amazing job because this current photo that I searched with, and I apparently have a couple that are fairly similar, but the photo that I searched with is taken within the last year or so. Whereas this other one that showed up in search results, even though it's the same person, that's about 10 years ago. So it's intelligent and it's able to find things like that. So very powerful and a great way to search quickly through your library and then go get that photo in Luminar and do your edits. And the last thing is, of course, there's uh, if you click on a single photo in this upper right hand corner, there is find similar photos. So you can come up here and again, current view, which means it's just going to search the folder that I'm in. But this is like a sunset in the mountains. I'm going to click on start search and it's come up with like 
10 different images that are all sunsets. Hey, surprise, it's using that intelligent AI to go find similar photos. So as you can see, there's lots of ways you can use this XR product to go in and find specific types of photos or specific photos. There have been countless times when my wife may have said something like, hey Jim, where's that photo of me and our daughter? And honestly, I looked and I looked and I could never find it. With XR, I can find it like that. So here's the fun part, and that's where these two products come together. I think of XR as kind of a layer, for lack of a better word, on top of Luminar Neo that will allow you to do searching and sorting and organizing your photos and basically acting like a detailed asset manager and a great search tool. So let's say I have decided I want to edit this photo. What I want to show you is how you can use them together to keep track of your edits and your raw files and sync that back with both XR and Luminar. So I've got a photo here. I'm going to right click and choose open with. I'm gonna scroll down to Luminar Neo. I'm gonna click on that and it's gonna send that photo over to Luminar for me. And there you go. Now it lands in the preset section, but I'm gonna go over to edit because I wanna edit this photo without a preset. This was something taken in Iceland on the Luminar Photo Camp a couple of years ago. Now this is a raw file that was sent over, so I'm gonna go into develop raw and maybe give it a little bit of contrast, but I wanna bump up those shadows. I really wanna brighten this sunrise. It was on a glacier. It was fantastically beautiful. Maybe a slight bit of warmth and maybe a slight bit of tint, perhaps a little saturation and vibrance. I'm gonna go back up here and I'm gonna give the whites a little bit of a bump as well to bring up some of that white in the snow that's sitting on top of that glacier. I think that's looking pretty awesome. Now I wanna play a little bit with color. So I'm gonna go into one of my favorite tools, which is Color Harmony. I'm gonna give it a little bit of warmth and a little bit of brilliance. I wanna be careful, I don't wanna overdo it. And I also wanna go into color balance and in the highlights, I wanna give them a little bit of warmth as well. Just create a little bit more of that kind of pop of warm color in those highlight areas. So something about like that, there it is before the color balance tool uh, or color harmony, I should say, and there it is after. So I think this photo is looking pretty good. And for me, I'm just gonna wrap this up with a little bit of golden hour just to give one more a little bit of pop, just a little bit of extra umph there in the overall warm tones. And in fact, now that I've done that, I'm gonna use one more tool because there's so many in Luminar Neo to choose from. Sometimes it's hard to decide, but I'm gonna go into Super Contrast, which as the name implies, gives you an amazing amount of control over the contrast in your images. So I've just adjusted highlights, midtones, and shadows because it separates those tonal areas for you and allows you to play with them and move contrast around. So I'm actually gonna adjust the balance in each one in order to get a photo looking exactly the way I want it to look, which is a little bit like that. I wanted to kind of brighten some of the shadows and brighten some of the, or excuse me, brighten some of the highlights and some of the midtones, but darken some of the shadows. Let me show you that. There it is before, and there it is now. So let me show you the overall edit here in Luminar Neo. That's what the photo started like. And in honestly, just a couple of minutes, I was able to quickly and easily turn it into that. Now, season to taste, all these tools are flexible and configurable, so you can kind of do whatever you want with it. I tend to like slightly saturated images, but here's where the combination of these two tools is really powerful. I'm gonna go ahead and click the export and I'm gonna go save to disk. And I'm just gonna save it as a JPEG. I'm gonna keep the name the same because I want it to line up next to the raw file back in XR. And if the names are the same, except it says copy or JPEG or whatever, I'm gonna um, be able to line those up perfectly. So export that photo and in a second, it'll drop it onto my desktop. And then all I'm gonna do is take it from my desktop and drop it in to the same folder that the raw file is in. Okay, I've done that. So let me go back to XR and you might say, Jim, where is it? I don't see it. Well you do have to sync it, right? So I'm gonna right click on this folder and click on synchronize. And you're gonna get some options here. And this is the folder I wanna sync. I'm gonna go ahead and click start. I'm gonna say no to this message. And you're gonna give it a minute to let it sync. And then when it's finished, it'll come up and let you know that it's finished. And hey, there it is. And by the way, one new photo found. I'm gonna click done and here we go. Here is my raw file and right next to it here is my edited photo. And by the way, did you notice there's already keywords added to this photo that's been edited. I've done nothing to it. I started with a raw file, said clouds, nature, and sky, and my edit after I went to Luminar and then came back to XR and synced them says bright clouds, nature, and sky. I could add things to this like Iceland because that's exactly what it was. 
So that's how I use these two together and I'm able to keep my edits in sync. Take it from XR, send a raw file to Luminar Neo, make my edits, export, save to desktop, drop it back into the original folder, sync this in XR, and it shows up automatically. Very powerful combo. And that's why I said these two tools work really well together because they complement each other so well. So the bottom line is with Luminar Neo, you get a very powerful AI-based photo editor that gives you massive amounts of control over really just about anything you wanna to do to your photo. Light, detail, color, lots of different things. Sky replacement, there's all kinds of things that you can do in Luminar Neo. And then using XR, you have all this powerful data here at your fingertips to allow you to search and sort and find images quickly. Remove duplicates, do all these kind of things like add keywords. And these two apps coupled together just really make a very powerful combo. So that's what this was about, my friends. I hope it gives you some idea. Again, if you wanna check out that bundle, there is a link down below to their landing page. That's live now. It is $119, which I think is a great value. It's a perpetual license of Luminar Neo, as well as a perpetual license of XR Photo. Thanks for watching, my friends. I hope you're doing really well. Take care of yourselves out there. I'll see you soon, and until then, adios.